Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger Militia, and this video is all about the 2002 Nissan Silvia. Let's go! First of all, thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel. I really appreciate all of you coming back over and over again, and I do see you in the comments, so thank you so much. We're growing at about a 2,500 subscribers per month rate, so congrats to everyone for being a part of this Militia Gaming community. I really appreciate uh, everyone's support. With that said, if you guys have any questions about anything, you can always hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I read every single DM message, even though sometimes I don't reply right away. I do work a full-time job outside of YouTube, so it does become a little hard to answer everything during the middle of the day. That's also why you see sometimes I'm posting videos at night. But just know that if you send me a DM, I do read it, and I will give you a thoughtful answer so long as it's not something inappropriate. If it is, I might just laugh and show my friend. All right, that's enough of an intro. Let's go ahead and get into the video. If you are familiar with these build videos, go ahead and skip to about the two minute mark. If not, here's how these videos go. I buy each engine for the car and test it on the day races Arian and Aardvark to find which one is the fastest. During the testing, I record the final race time and compare it to other engines for that same car. I only record that time if the race was super clean. I've raced over 400 times in these two courses, so I really know when I'm making a mistake or not. If I do make a driving mistake, I restart the race immediately and throw out that time. My goal is to be consistent and accurate with all of these tests. After I find the fastest engine, I optimize it for each type of racing this game offers, track, drag, drift, and dirt, giving you four completely different builds to use for each type of racing in the game. I also rank these cars according to the fastest times that I've run on these two courses, so I'll be showing you that list as well. The idea is to have some sort of foundation to rank the cars from fastest to slowest. Keep in mind though, this is my personal rankings, and it doesn't really represent these cars fastest possible times on these tracks. There are people out there running way faster times using different race shortcuts or different builds. The goal is to find the fastest engine for the car because that seems to be the biggest headache when building cars in this game, but also to kind of give you an idea of which cars are in the same league as other cars. This 2002 Silvia has seven available engine options, three of which don't even make the car 400 plus, and out of the four that are left, I ran the fastest times with the 562 horsepower 3.8 liter V8. But I will tell you, this one was by far the closest competition between engines. All four of the engines that were left ran times within eight tenths of a second of each other on Arian, and I think I know why. This car is extremely fast from around 150 miles per hour to 230 miles per hour, and Arian doesn't have a lot of sections that offer that type of speed. So because it has amazing top end, the engines weren't really allowed to meet their full potential on that course. The car is a great choice for longer, straighter races because of its ability to go from 150 miles an hour to 230 so fast. It can keep up with the RSR in the top end. The problem is that it's an absolute horribly driving car for curvy tracks. You lose a ton of speed in the corners, and the reason it's terrible in the corners is because of its turn radius. It has a very large turn radius, which forces you to slide into turns that other cars don't have to. It took me a long time to get used to driving this car, but once I did, I was able to put down a couple of decent times on Arian and Aardvark. On Arian, my best time was 258.1 with the 562 V8 engine, race tires, and the 7-speed gearbox. After testing a few things, the 7-speed gearbox did better than the 8-speed and the 6-speed. It doesn't bounce off the rev limiter, and it doesn't bog down. Now, I am racing this as an automatic, so people with a manual transmission probably won't have that problem and could use the 8-speed or the 6-speed to their liking. That time was fast enough to land the Sylvia in the 11th spot for cars that I've tested on Arian, and the 442.7 time that I did on Aardvark secures the 12th fastest spot on Aardvark. I will say I don't think these times accurately represent this car's full potential. I think there are probably drivers out there who can drive the car a lot better than I can, and I don't think this is the best car for tighter tracks like Arian and Aardvark. It's probably a great choice for races like Sonic, which are wide open for the most part. That being said, here's my fastest track build. 
It's the 562 horsepower 3.8 liter V8 engine, ultimate plus engine parts, ultimate dual turbo, ultimate 5x3 pound NOS, super track suspension, elite brakes, elite race tires, elite plus clutch, elite 7 speed gearbox, super track differential. As far as a track car goes, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. It's fast on the straights, but it doesn't do enough coming out of the turns to compete with any of the fastest cars in the game. Moving on to the drag category. To turn this car into a drag car, there are only a couple of changes you will need to make. It's mostly the track build that I just laid out, except you're going to need to swap to the drag tires and the 5 speed gearbox. Then make sure you drop the downforce all the way down in the live tuning settings. I was able to get the quarter mile time down to 8.7 with this setup. The 562 horsepower 3.8 liter V8 engine, ultimate plus engine parts, ultimate dual turbo, ultimate 1x15 pound NOS, super track suspension, elite brakes, elite drag tires, elite plus clutch, and super 5 speed gearbox with a super track differential and downforce all the way down. As far as a drag car goes, this isn't the fastest car in the game, nor is it the slowest. It does okay, and like every other car, it's much better with NOS. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 simply because if you measure it against the Beetle, the 96 MX-5, the Honda Civic, the Ford GT, and the Evo 9, it loses every single time. Alright, moving on to the drift sections. So turning any car, especially a rear wheel drive car, into a drift car starts with this setup. Speed cross suspension, drag tires, and drift differential. This is the high score setup. If you try the car with this setup and it does well, you leave it alone. If there's something you don't like, whether it's its handling, the score, or its ability to transition between drifts, you start to make changes to one of those three parts at a time until you find the right combination that works for you. This Sylvia is an absolute drift monster with the base setup. So it looks like this, 562 horsepower, 3.8 liter V8 engine again, ultimate plus everything, ultimate dual turbo and 5x3 pound NOS, even though the NOS doesn't matter, super speed cross suspension, elite brakes, elite drag tires, elite plus clutch, super 8 speed gearbox, pro drift differential. And then you're going to want to put the downforce all the way down and the steering sensitivity all the way up. I broke several high scores of my own with this setup and this car is fairly easy to swing around and transition by tapping the handbrake. It's not quite as easy to control as the Evo 9, but it's really, really close and it gets way higher scores. If I could give it an 11 out of 10, I would. Unfortunately, that's not how it works, so it's a 10 out of 10 for drifting. And the last section of the video, the off-road races. As always, I test the cars in the off-road races HTV2 and Rumble, and then I rank them according to their combined times. This Sylvia is ranked 7th out of the 12 cars I tested, and being such a fast car on the street, I figured like the other street cars, it would do well in the dirt, but unfortunately it didn't. It ran a 155.2 on HTV2 and a 320.9 on Rumble. I'd say that if you're looking to complete a bunch of off-road races, there are much better cars to do it with than this Sylvia. The build I was using looks like this. Again, same engine, ultimate parts, and ultimate dual turbo, ultimate 3x5 NOS, super rally suspension, elite brakes, elite off-road tires, elite plus clutch, super 8-speed gearbox, and super rally differential. It's a 7 out of 10 in the dirt at best. To sum it up, I'm actually really disappointed about this car. It's such an awesome car and it's so historic in actual racing and I wanted it to be an amazing car in Need for Speed Heat and it just really wasn't. It fell pretty short of my expectations in the game so I'm pretty disappointed. As I said in the video though, its strength is really just like flat, straight speed. So you can use it for races like Sonic and you can run it over and over again and get good money. It should be pretty decent for online racing because most people run Sonic in the online lobbies. So that's a great race to try it out on. Um, but if you build it like me and you have better, faster times, I'd love to know about it in the comments. So go ahead and put your times down in the comments. Um, I'm curious if there's a better way to build it or a better way to race it, let me know. I know a lot of YouTubers have sort of moved on from Need for Speed Heat, but my plan is actually to continue making Need for Speed Heat videos. 
um, mostly build videos like this one, but I am planning on adding another game to the channel. I just don't know exactly which game that is for now. I play a lot of shooters. I've played a ton of them. Um, Destiny, Call of Duty, Apex, Fortnite, all of the different shooters and particularly the Battle Royale games. So if you have a particular shooter that you enjoy playing a lot of, leave it in the comments section below and I'll consider making some content for that depending on what the answers are. Um, like I said, I like Apex and uh, Warzone has actually been pretty fun lately as well. So anyways, I'm just curious what you guys are playing. Um, that's it for this one. Thank you very much and we'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.